Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the fifth video of our newly created technical series, which is the ServiceNow and JavaScript, where we are learning fundamentals of JavaScript, starting from what is JavaScript or what is programming language, how you can write a program, like how you can use the if else, for, function, array, object, all of these things. We are starting from the scratch and we are going to clear all the concepts of JavaScript fundamental. So this series is important for you if you are looking to clear the JavaScript knowledge, fundamental knowledge. If you are new in programming, you don't know anything about programming, then this series is also for you. If you are a ServiceNow CS administrator and you are willing to be a ServiceNow developer, then this series is also for you because JavaScript is there in ServiceNow only. In my last video, we have discussed about very important concept, which is the JavaScript variables and values. What are they? How to use them, right? How you can declare variable in different ways, right? So what are the variable name which you cannot use? And also how you can write the variable name, you know, in camel case. So I have shown all of these things in my last video. So again, if you are new in this series, I would recommend you start from the beginning. Okay, so that you can follow step by step things. Also in my previous videos, I have explained like how I can set up my coding environment. So you can practice coding either on Visual Studio Code, which I'm doing and also in ServiceNow. So I've shown you how you can install a very important plugin uh, that would be very important for the ServiceNow development also. And that plugins would help you to use the VS Studio Code facility inside of ServiceNow background script. How to do that? I've already shown you. Video is there. You can find it, the link in the description also. All right, so let's see what we are going to learn in today's video. So if you have watched my last video, then this screen is very familiar to you, where in the Visual Studio, this is a file I'm using, I am writing code, and in the right hand side, I'm getting the output. So this is all about the first class one. We have learned different things. Okay, how to declare variable and all these things I have discussed with you. So now we are going to start class two. So I've shown you how you can write comment like this. Okay, so I don't need these things anymore. So I will just make it full comment. So again, I have explained how to do that, right? So I'll just remove this one and I'll make it here. All right, class two is would be different data types. Now data types, what are the different data types that we have in JavaScript, right? So data types are nothing but you are giving the data or the value a type so that you can store it in a so that you can use it in different way like whenever you need to use uh, different data types so what data type i'm talking about so i will just do it like this so i'll make a comment again so i will start so there are two type of data type that we have one is primitive data type okay and another one is the object so regarding the object, we would learn later. I mean, when we would understand about the object, array, function, all these things, that would be, I'll do it in a different video, definitely. But primitive data type is the very important one that we are going to learn today. So what are the primitive data type we have? The first one that we have is the number. And you can understand by that. So first, let me type all the data type quickly, and then I will explain you each and every one, everything. So make sure you watch the full video to clear your concept. So number, then we have string. And then we have Boolean, Boolean. These three are very, very important. And these three are main where we, we, we are going to use these three a lot in the programming. And other than that, we have also undefined, defined. Also we have symbol data type. Okay, then we have null. And also we have begin data type. So these are the data type. Now I will close the comment and I would start doing it simply. Now, for the number, you know, it's pretty simple. So I can declare like let age equal to uh, 15 maybe. This 15 value is the integer value. So in different programming language, you may have heard or may have used like, you know, floating point number where you mention, you know, number with a decimal number, right? And there is another number is called the integer number, normal integer where you mention number without the decimal point, right? In JavaScript, for the data type number, you can use it as a decimal also, or you can use it like normal. So you can write it like this, and also you can write like uh, maybe age two equal to 15.0. So these both are same. So if I print quickly console.log and put age here, let's see, let's save it and refresh it. You see, it's coming as 15. Now, if I put H2 here, 
and save it again see it is coming as 15 as well okay so maybe from 0 I'll type 5 and if I print it now 15.5 so in JavaScript you don't need to declare anything like float or integer in a different way all captured inside of number so that's the one of the most common data type that we use another most common data type would be the string so this is the number data type so I'll just make it like this number data type now I would do a string and string again I have shown you so if I just go above you see it let's take this and I'll just paste it so here let first name now this is not a camel case now it's a camel case so let me just I have explained to you how important it is right so now you can see in this is the string value okay the string value is storing in the first name variable remember that the value has a type only I mean this value is determining whether this variable is a string variable or not this value so if I just change the value of first name then it would maybe I will type let first name equal to 10 which is not relevant but I'm just saying then then it would become a number value right so the value is changing the value is becoming string the value is becoming number but the variable is same that's a very very important concept so pritam is a string value which is storing in the first name variable right this is how you should remember now again if I just save it and print it you can see Pritam is printing so this is storing the value now I can also use double invited comma instead of single comma so I can just use so you can just type like this also Pritam and then select it and press double invited comma so it would be like that in VS code okay that's quite easy so it's same if I refresh it you can see Pritam so either you can put single comma either you can put double comma so it would consider as string okay now these are the most common one now before I move to the next data type now what would happen if you add a number and a string for an example we would understand about the operator different operators in the next video but just to show you let age and and first name so it's like that let's do like that this is a variable and here I'm what I'm going to do is that I will first do uh, maybe 15 plus 5 okay normally it would give me 20 but I'm gonna add a string with it so I'm gonna add Pritam okay and then I'm gonna print it down console.log and I'm gonna print this age first name pretty simple I'm gonna save and I'm gonna refresh it you see it's coming 20 Pritam now why it is coming out like that so any kind of programming calculation starts from the left hand side okay so first it is adding 15 plus 5 which is 20 then when it is trying to add a plus it is finding this a string right we have just known this is a string type value so then the whole thing is becoming a string so 20 Pritam is totally a string right now for an example if I just type like this let's if I just change it uh, like that so it's Pritam plus 15 plus 5 now what would happen see Pritam 155 so it is not calculating why it is not calculating so the again the calculation will start from the left hand side so it is firstly so firstly it is a string so you can see in the comma so it is considered the string and then plus so it considered the whole line as a string okay so that's why it is showing you Pritam then 155 all right now the next data type that we are going to use another very very important data type and I will do separate video for this data type only later which is the boolean type so very simply the meaning of the boolean type is nothing but it's true or false so what do I mean by that so you can simply like let maybe let script equal to true so this is a variable script what is the type of this value this is not a number this is not a string but but this is boolean so if I just print it so console.log and I'll print the script so let's see what it comes you see it comes as a true so this is a boolean value which is going in the variable script variable which is becoming as a true you can also test it like this so for an example let first number equal to 10 
let second num let second number equal to 20 okay now we can check that console dot log so what i'm going to print is that i'm going to check whether first number greater than the second number okay so i'm going to print it let's see what happens so if i just refresh it you see it is coming as false so it is checking whether the first number is greater than second number so the first number is 10 second number is 20 so of course this is a false so now if i just change the value of 10 to 30 if i save it now if i refresh it you see it's true so you can understand we can use this boolean concept a lot of time in our programming for an example comparison right like this and also like so we can use it in a if else statement we can use it in a for loop also in object in function anywhere we can use it right so this is very very important concept which is the boolean but for the time being this is uh, this is enough for understanding again i told you we will do a separate class on boolean so we understand that boolean means true or false and i have shown you in the example right so now these are the these three number string and boolean these are the thing which you are going to use a lot most of the time you are going to use these things okay other than that very common data type would be undefined so undefined and undefined is like simply when you are not defining a value in a variable simply means let so maybe let's take a variable name let's test equal to not equal to just semicolon it is not defined so this is called the undefined but how i can check this is the undefined or not or even all these variables that i talk like Pritam, you can ask me what is the proof that this is a boolean type this is a string type this is a number type now there is a special so there is an operator there is a special operator again i would explain about operator all together in the next video but here it is important to talk about this particular operator which is called the type of operator so how you can use that so let me show you so i'm gonna console.log i'm gonna do type of type of what type i'm looking for a bracket i will put test okay test value so what does it mean so i'm printing in the log that what is the type of this test variable right so i'll save it and i'll just refresh it you see it is the undefined type so i told you undefined stands for uh, when there is not defined so this is the undefined type okay when you are not defining anything now let's check the uh, script what is the type of script variable so we have seen script is storing the true so that is a boolean so if i refresh it you see it's coming as boolean okay so let me okay now again we can check for the string also so first name so maybe i'll just make it a copy paste it here and i will do first name i'll save it you see it's a string and lastly age so i will just paste it again age so it's a number now the other variable that we have like symbol null these are very less we use null means again which is not storing anything it's kind of a like same uh, like undefined but null is being used in different uh, way maybe i'll discuss it later not that important as of now also we have symbol another data type symbol means where the value is very unique i mean let me show you symbol is kind of kind of a funny one so this these two are same this has to be same right now we have just learned how to compare it right console dot log we would just see value one equal to equal to value two so this is the so this is another operator i have used which is called the equality operator to check whether these two values are same or not okay so value one and value two we are checking it is same or not so if i refresh it you see i'm getting false but it is true you see this is true actually i have not changed anything but with the help of symbol you can make a particular uh, variable that is a value one is different than value two although these has the same information again this is being used in very specific case okay maybe we can discuss it later but that's not important so now i want to check the type of operator again so i'll just type console.log 
and I will just type type of maybe value one. So both of them are the symbol. So let's see. You see, this is a symbol type. Okay, and another variable. So another data type that we have, which is the big int, where we st we can store the large number. Large number means a very long number. So that's why the big integer kind of thing. Now you understand what are the different type of data types available, right? So we have discussed all of this. Now for the object type, we would discuss uh, in later we when we would understand about array function object. Okay, those are very, very important. We'll cover it out. But before that, we have to clear this concept. This concept, these data type concepts are very, very important, guys. Let me tell you all the things that we are you are going to do in JavaScript. These are the very basic things you are going to apply it. Okay, now one more thing I was actually showing you if I just go back here. So you see, I was just giving you an example of let difference between let, uh, where or const. That is the uh, in let you can mention a equal to five, then you can change a equal to 10. If you print console.log just to show you, let me quickly show you this. That's a very helpful thing. So I'll remove the const. So now the value would become, you see, it's becoming 10. So dynamically, you can change the value of a variable. Also, for an example, now, instead of 10, I can also store like string variable here. So that is called the dynamic data type. So if I just refresh it, now it is showing Pritam. So previously, a equal to 5, a was there 5. So the value was the integer. Value is the number, right? And then a is storing a string variable right so the same variable but it's storing different value so that's why i'm saying value has a type not the variable so this is a number type this is a string type so dynamically you can change the type and you can see the output okay that's pretty cool right so this is it for today guys so i hope you have cleared the concept of different data types so in my next video we would discuss about different operators again i'm saying these basic things are very very important in long run Okay, when we would do functions, when we would create object, array, there we are going to use all of these things. So you have to be clear. So if you find this video helpful, guys, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also share these videos with your friends and families, right? So bye-bye, take care. See you in my next video.